up guys, welcome to another video, today I'm going to be reviewing Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. This one came out on Friday and was directed by Destin Daniel Cretton and stars Simu Liu, Aquafina, and Tony Luen. Now before we start, if you hit that like button, subscribe to the post notification bell so you can notify every video, and let's just start. Let's start talking about the good. So all the actors and actors in this film are fantastic. Every single person in this film is very, very good. Simu Liu as Shang-Chi fantastic fantastic um he's really really good in this film and i can't wait to see what marvel uh has for him in store um aquafina aquafina is also very very good in this film she's hilarious in this film every sequence with her in it whether it be emotional sequence or a um comical sequence very very well done and tony Luen, i believe it's pronounced um he is phenomenal he is a phenomenal villain, easily one of the best villains, for me at least, in Marvel. I think he is a very, very, very menacing villain, as he, um, he's a Mandarin, and I don't know, he, he's just, right when he showed up on screen, he just captured the essence of a villain and what I wanted a Marvel villain to be. This is a great Marvel villain, he portrays this villain perfectly. And he is definitely in my top, I would say top 5 or top 10 MCU villains of all time. Um, so the opening sequence. The opening sequence is a very, very well done opening sequence. I'm not going to say what it is, but it works for the film and it captures the tone of the film. And it's very entertaining. It is a very, very entertaining opening sequence. Uh, the first and second acts of the film were actually done very, very well. The character development, um, you get to know what's happening throughout the film. Uh, they're setting up, you know, the mystery or the, um, the mission that the characters have to go on in the first act of the film. Second act of the film is when they're actually going on the mission. They're finding different things that they have to find to finally lead up to the third act of the film, which is, of course, the main big action sequence. First and second acts of the film very very well done uh the cinematography which of course includes the shots the camera angles the lighting it's great it's very very well done um i think this film is a very unique film um it's doesn't look like any other marvel film this film looks very very unique especially with the different colors that the uh director decided to use for the film i thought it worked perfectly um, the CGI and the special effects are fantastic. Let me tell you, the third act of the film, which I'll get to later, it is a CGI spectacle. This third act of the film looks fantastic. The Ten Rings, very, very, very well done. Um, there are a lot of awesome and unique action sequences. One of the action sequences on the train um, that you saw in the trailer, very, very uh, well done. It's a lot of fun, great action sequence. And throughout the entire film, there are a lot of action sequences, but what it really focuses on is the story. This film is about characters, character development, relationships between characters, and the story is a very, very, very great story. Um, I didn't think that it was gonna be that, that deep of a story uh, with that much depth, uh, but I was wrong. This film is very, very, very well done, uh, especially with the story. Um, there are a lot of hilarious sequences in this film, of course, MCU has to have jokes in all their films, but this one, I think they place the jokes perfectly. Whenever something terrible is happening, no one's laughing, there are no jokes, no one pops in and just makes a random joke. Um, when people are getting hurt, or getting killed it is very very tense and sometimes can be um, emotional for the viewers so I thought that the hilarious sequences the comical sequences were well placed in the film um, their backstory sequences now there are some great backstory sequences especially with Tony uh, Lung's character uh, of course is the Mandarin him and uh, Simu Liu as uh, Shang-Chi their backstory sequences fantastic um especially with uh the sister um shang chi's sister there's a backstory sequence with her also and it has a lot to do with the film so i thought the backstory sequences work very well in this film 
Um, the Mandarin. Now, let me say the Mandarin played by Tony Wang is easily one of the best Marvel villains ever put to screen. Easily, 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 easily. Uh, someone else makes an appearance in this film. You know, I'm just going to say it because you probably already know who's going to be in this film. Ben Kingsley makes an appearance as um, the Mandarin, well, the fake Mandarin. He's also very, very good in this film, and he's very funny in this film. But Tony Luang does a great job as a man. He's one of the best villains that I've ever seen in Marvel. Um, he's menacing. He is. He has a lot to do in the third act of the film, especially with the emotional sequences. But his character, fantastic character development. His character is given so much depth in this film that by the end of this film, I actually care about the villain. So Tony Luang as the Mandarin, fantastic villain. Um, there are a lot of great cameos in this film, and when I mean great cameos, I mean great cameos. I did not expect any of the cameos in this film. Um, they all work for the film. They all fit the film well. Um, so the cameos, I thought they were great. Uh, the third act of the film. Now, the third act of the film is awesome. Like I said, CGI, fantastic. third act of the film uses a lot of CGI, but it is somewhat unnoticeable. Uh, there is an animal that looks sort of CGI, but other than that, the use of the Ten Rings, fantastic. They all look fantastic. The third act of the film is action-packed, so I thought the third act of the film is very well done in this film. Uh, the ending sequence. Now, the ending sequence I thought it was great. Um, it fit the film perfectly. It closed out the story uh, very well, so I thought the ending sequence was great. Uh, the post credit sequences. Now, there are two post credit sequences in this film stay for both of them i thought the first post credit scene fantastic you're going to want to stay for that one and then the second post credit scene it's a fun little post credit scene for this film um, so both of them i think they are worthy of um, staying after the film to check out um, that's all the good that i have there's no bad about this film shang chi and the legend of the ten rings is a fantastic marvel solo film and i highly recommend it and i'm gonna give shang chi and the legend of the ten rings an a thanks for watching don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to the post notification bell so you're never for a video i'm peter thanks for watching